Hey, it's Doug. It's What's in the Shop Wednesday. I've got Sheldon here with me today, and uh, we gotten pretty good at that. We're all right. I, I don't know. I thought you forgot about me for a second. No, <laughs> man. I can I can never forget about you, and I can't forget about Zach either, who is here with us today. And I want you to explain what you're doing to this car here with the tape, Zach. Sure. What's going on with that? So right here, we got these fender flares here. We've actually done clear bra to them, so. Um, We've taped them up so, you know, as we do our polish, we won't get any polish in the cracks or the lines yeah. of the clear bra. Yeah. Just to keep it clean. Yeah. And areas like this, we always tape up as well. Um, yeah, I noticed you had that tape before yeah. we started video and uh, right. just to, because we don't want to get polish and stuff up exactly. on the Exactly. Just black. keeps it from, you know, keeps it clean, keeps it from staining and stuff like that. Yeah. So. And Zach is our uh, lead, really, really you're our operations manager now, so yeah. you're overseeing all the flow of the shops. Uh, Blaze has really kind of taken a lead on the uh, paint correction ceramic coatings. Mm -hmm. He's got his assistant Mike over there taking care of business right now. Good job, Mike. And um, okay, well, that's all I need. I was just wanting to talk about that because I think that's one important step is making sure the details are paid attention to, which you guys always do. And um, what's the name of the color of this car, Sheldon? This is a trivia quiz. I think it's Hellraiser on this one. Yes. Oh, is it really? Yeah, okay. Plum yep. crazy. I, I would have guessed that totally wrong, so I'm glad I didn't. I don't think it's Plum Crazy. I think it's Hellraiser. Yeah. Yes. You know, this looks darker than Plum Crazy. Yes, is that? Is. Yeah. Now that, you, now that you say that. Yeah. Uh, but this is a beautiful car. Uh, it's got the wide body. Are they all wide bodies now? No. If you, okay. No. So, even, uh, so you can get a scat pack without the wide body. I do believe so, yes. Okay. I wasn't sure because most of what I'm seeing um, has been wide bodies. Yeah. And not all wide bodies. I don't know about the scat pack. They're all wide bodies. Yeah, but okay. They're, they're not all of them. So. And I, lo I love the wide body. Yeah. I mean, it looks oh, so yeah. good. We just had a Charger leave not long ago. That was a wide body. Yeah, they look so good. And let's look at the paint on here. So, uh, Blaze, what are you doing right now to this car? I just polish it. Um, so, um, after we tape it up, like Zach was showing, all the black trim and polish it. Yeah. Which increases the shine. Makes it and, better. And you're doing that in prep for yeah. ceramic coating, right? Yes, sir. Awesome. It looks good. Did, did this get a paint correction or just a regular prep? Just regular. Okay. So no paint correction on this one. Uh, the customer either declined it or decided that they didn't need it. Correct. But we still do minimal amount of prep work. Uh, which is basically our chemical decon, mechanical decon, polish, and then we do the solvent wipe mm -hmm. with our body shop grade wax and grease remover, right. and then the ceramic coating goes on. Yep, exactly. Yeah. And what all is this one getting? I know you mentioned clear bra. Yeah, like he mentioned, the flares all got wrapped, and the front bumper got wrapped. Yep. We did their window tint on the sides and back. Yep. Uh, and then they're doing the five-year ceramic coating. Okay. So she's, uh, and this is a female? Yeah. Yeah, female she on is. car. I think this I remember you got saying really that. This one's nice interior, too, if you take a look Let's at it. Let's take a look at it. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did see that. <laughs> you saw that. Did, did, and did we tint this one or no? Yeah, we did. Okay. I thought we did because I was thinking when it came in, <laughs> I was clear. able to see the interior exactly. without the door being open. Yeah, you're right. Check out this interior, though, guys. Those seats look awesome. And is that a was that a factory option? Do you know? Did she say? Yeah, I do believe so. I've, I've seen a, this is a, at least the second one like this. I've seen. Is it okay? So, yeah, they sure look it like it looks really. It cool. looks like it's been to a custom upholstery it shop. Does. Uh, with the way these are done. Yeah. And I'm sure it sounds really good. Yep. We're not gonna crank it up, but just have to take our word for it. <laughs> and it's a manual too. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. It sure is. And this got the, our. Uh, Prime XR windshield t or window tint, yes, um, which is our rec our ceramic, and then we not the multi layered ceramic, Correct. right? And we have a Corvette. Surprise, surprise! Yeah. yeah so. What well, can you tell us about this one? Yeah, so this car came in. Uh, we started with the front, so he got the cross country. Yeah. Just to recap: door edges, mirrors, fender, hood, headlights, front bumper. Um, after that, they are now doing the five year ceramic coating. And that is a bright white. It sure is. I read somewhere uh, it may have been the, the Corvette white. Yeah. Um, but that it was—I can't remember if it was a Corvette or not. But 
it was, it was like a, the brightest white oh, okay. of a factory color. I didn't Cause, read that. Well, so, because being from a body shop background, white, there's a, a lot of variances in white. Oh, yeah. Some colors look white, and then when you put a true white next to it, it's really like gray. Yeah. And oh, you don't realize sure. it. And white is a hard color to match. Yes, it is. Because you start out with the, like the true white, and you start adding toners to it. Yeah. And if you put like a tiny bit too much of one toner, it totally changes the right. color. Yep. So it doesn't, it's not tolerant for, for um, different toners. Yeah, I think white, white's the hardest color to touch up as far as It I is, know. yeah, yeah, it really, it's hard to get it. Um, and then when you get to the um, pearl whites, it gets even right. tougher. And we yeah. see Blaze here, he's getting pretty specific about what he's looking at. Look at the metallic. Yeah, where he shines that, that light, oh it's beautiful. Let's see that metallic, Blaze. Very nice. Now, what do we got? This very cool truck. Yeah. Now, this was here recently because yes. I remember talking about this truck. So this was here twice. He came in for window tint and he came in for ceramic coatings. Yeah. Uh, so he had some Black Widow stuff on it. We took it off for him. He didn't like it. Yeah. Um, but this is a Black Widow edition. You can see the wheels. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, someone after he left here, unfortunately, he got rear ended last time. So okay. he had to get some paint work done to the back of it. Okay, so, so just the back had a little minor yeah, we're, stuff we're done to the it. Back half of the vehicle. Yeah. Okay. It looks great. I'm sure it wasn't anything major. Truck looks incredible. Oh, yeah. And we have a Tesla. We say that we are the upstate <laughs> Tesla paint protection headquarters. We sure are. Because we do so many Teslas. Yeah. I was reading a thing the other day that the Teslas had sold more units than every other or than most other major manufacturers combined <laughs> what like this year or yeah i, I believe it yeah they, i believe it i don't know if it, it may have been this past quarter I, I, yeah. I know it was some recent time that they said that it was more units sold so the second half of the year we've had a ton of teslas in here yeah i don't know if they don't have that same chip problem that the other cars are i, mm -hmm. I don't know it but. appears that they don't <laughs> it appears that they don't let's walk over here Going to the PPF lab. Thank you. Cody's putting some final touches on a beautiful Porsche. It's a 911, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Beautiful car. Good. Beautiful car. Those are all the money too. Everything's on the money. Right. I should just stop saying that. Every every vehicle right now is insane with the pricing. It sure is. And we got this uh, Model yeah, S. Yeah, new Model S over here. God, those, oh. Is this a plaid? Uh, it's the same body. I don't think it's, it doesn't have the plaid bag in there. Okay. The same, the I was body, just, the wheels. Just, yeah. Yeah. Those are the, aren't those the plaid wheels? Or, or am I wrong about that? I, I actually don't know. Do you know, Cody? You're not sure? Um, but now on the inside, I don't know if they're all like this. I mean, it's got like so even a non-plaid plaid comes with that steering wheel though? yes really yeah, so all the s's do okay and i don't know if this i mean this panel right here is kind of like that plaid material i don't know but hmm. there is no plaid badging on it okay i'm i'm you know we do a lot of teslas but i'm not i don't know especially the new yeah. you know the new model s i'm well, not as familiar in our system there's like a 21 model s Model S plaid first half, Model S plaid second half of the year. Oh, it's, wow. There's so many models of them in our system. It gets a little confusing for us, too. So a lot going on with that. Yeah. If you know the answer to that question as far as, well, you already said it, the Model S comes with that steering wheel. Yeah. Period. Right. Any Model S, you or you think. All the ones we've had, even if they didn't say plaid, they've all been that steering Had that wheel. steering wheel. Okay. Yep. See, I thought that was a plaid steering wheel, you know, because oh, it looks like a Batmobile steering wheel. Yeah, yeah. Everyone just calls it the... Now, this may not be a headlight that Cody wants us hovering over him with because no, these are very rounded in the shape of them. They're very difficult. They are. And, you know, Porsche is not, a lot of Porsches, you can't wrap the headlights with the, the problem they have from the factory. So, yeah. Look at that stretch. Those are very difficult headlights to do.
It's a nice fit though. It's like they're allowing more material on those than they used to. Used to they were real skinny. Right. And the sides were had less coverage, but this yep. one's looking or or Cody's just stretching it better than I used to do it when I did. <laughs> <laughs> Could be the case too. We always say headlights are so worth doing just because the the price of a new headlight oh, yeah. and what they cost if you have to replace them if they get cracked mm -hmm. or I mean if something hard hits this I mean it could still crack the, right. the clear bra may not save it but it probably would save it from a lot of things yeah they're not going to get pitted up and not pitted up. not they're yellow really you want to think Brian's serious about not showing too much We got any questions, Brian? Not yet. If y'all got any questions, ask away. If we don't know the answer, we'll make one up for you. <laughs> <laughs> I see, is that Ryan on there? Ryan, Calling Ryan. me Champagne Doug is mm -hmm. in the house. Yep, that's my man Ryan right there. We joke, the reason Ryan calls me Champagne Doug is because uh, we had some jokes going on about the Grove Park Inn. Yeah. When you remember, we were up there for the Porsche event, yep. the Porsche Treffen several years ago. Yep. So we were there with the um, Ceramic Pro guys. Yep. And we were just making jokes because there were people walking around in the lobby of the Grove Park Inn with their robes on, <laughs> and you're really not supposed to do that. Yeah. And we were just laughing about that. So, um, I've had some uh, in some of the travels me and my wife's done. I've ha I've had like a picture oh, with a robe yeah. on, and I tag Ryan. And last time I tagged Ryan, he's like, "Hey, don't give people the wrong idea. You're tagging me with you in a in a robe." That's funny. So it's just kind of an inside joke. Gotcha. Cody, you made that look too easy, man. I wish it was. <laughs> now he's being just modest. <laughs> Man, that's nice. Something so um, satisfying about it's that, very watching that. Yeah, those are headlights I would not want to try. <laughs> nope. That gel is so ooey gooey. Right. It sure is. Okay, Cody said we saw enough to get out of here, so I can read his mind. Let's walk over here to the tent lab. What's up, Braden? I hear some squirting going on in here. Extreme window film van. We are getting that going, aren't we? Yeah, we just did the office building a couple days ago. Yeah, yeah, we just so we tinted. Yeah, so the flat glass. Finally, we've been waiting on our automotive side to slow down a little bit. Yeah. We've been so busy with that. And um, so now we're able to start getting a little traction with that. Yep. Um, so exactly. we've had the van. We've had the, the website just got completed about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yep. And we're going to start reaching out to some of our VIP customers. Yep. Uh, to see if they want to take advantage of allowing us to get our start. Yep. Not not start with, Braden's very experienced with doing flat glass work. Right. But just getting our process down right. with how we're going to, because the way we're doing it is innovative. It's different yep. um, as far as how the, the getting the quote. Get the quote goes. Yeah. And Jim, if you're watching, you may want to comment because Jim's going to be the guru that people will talk to yep. whenever they call in about exactly. that. But we're going to be really doing the build out on the infrastructure because uh, we see this as being a huge opportunity um, that could go really oh, yeah. big, really yeah. big. So, sure hope so. we're going to take our time with it and and, and do, do it, it right. well. Do it yeah, right. do it well. And uh, it's amazing because the tent that we put on our office, because I've been sitting in that office since 2012 yeah. with those big windows. <laughs> yeah. I think they're like 58 by 58. Yeah, yeah they're big. And now the just like how beautiful it to look out those windows now yeah, and the oh, heat rejection. It's almost more clear. I feel it like it's It is more clear. Weird. Well, it's called Clearview is yeah. the Expel product we're using. Yeah. And it's so clear. 
And then there's no heat, so there's no yeah. hot spots. My biggest thing is the glare, because I would use I would be on my computer screen in the afternoon, and the glare would come in. Yeah. But now I can see my computer screen fine. Is it? So I, I, I haven't asked out, you. I was out a lot. Yeah, I was wondering about that. That's the. And with people working from home now, because we're going to be specializing yeah. in residential window film, window tent, people working from home, we can see that that's going to be something that people will want Definitely. to do as to rooms they're going to be working in specifically to make sure they have some protection in Definitely there. So. I know Connor's back here, and he is, you see this? Keep going, man. Don't even, don't even look at us. We're not even here right now. But this is... Uh, Connor is in training, so we've taken some time to uh, get his skills set up. And he's practicing on a Porsche. Yeah. What's up with That's, that? Uh, not, the, not the typical car to practice on. Yeah, I mean, how many tent trainees are, are working on Porsche Cayennes? What did, uh, uh, what did the guys work on when they were at Expel training? Um, Nissans. Nissans? Yeah, I remember Nissans. But they were, I think, rental cars they rented for ah, that. Ah, okay, that makes sense. But this car actually belongs to Jim, our, again, our tent guru. This yep. is his personal car. We're just using it to uh, get Connor up to where we want him to be. Over time, it's a skill set. Right. It takes a lot of work, a lot of learning. But Connor's willing to invest his time into learning, and we're willing to invest our That's right. time and money into him to be trained. Exactly. But other than that, what else you got? Anything? Nothing much. Uh, I know we're talking about the schedule like normal. Yeah. Clearbrow is getting pretty booked out again. Yeah. Um, there's some days within the next month, a couple days here and there that we have open. Uh, but for the most part, most days are taken. Yeah. So it's getting pretty booked yeah, well, out. I, I was looking at the calendar like we were about a month at least on Clearbra, other yeah. than what you said, a few there's a couple of spots open here. days for would be like maybe for a cross country. Yeah. And then um, I know we got a lot of full wraps coming in, got, full clear raw wraps. Two plaids coming in for a full wrap. Yeah. Two plaids and the um, Porsche. And then that Porsche coming. Yeah, in. Lisa's Porsche. Yeah, GT3 or is it GT4. I can't remember. So it's a GT I think, something. I think it's a three or four. Do you know Brian? I don't know. No. Okay. Why well, would he? He's a social media guy. <laughs> um, Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. So we got the Porsche coming. It's getting a full clear bra wrap. Yeah. Two Tesla Model S plaids. Yep. Yeah. Full clear raw wrap. Yep. I'm sure they're getting. They're all. They're getting clear. They're all getting uh, ceramic, ceramic as well. Some ceramic getting coating. Tent. Yeah. So. And then as far as window tent automotive, so right now we're blocking days for our flat glass. Yep. Kind of build out, and then we have we still have some open uh, automotive days. Exactly. Too. And then we got training. We're plugging in there as well for for Connor. Yep. And um, so there's days for that and ceramic pro or ceramic coating. Yeah, about we, around a week, week and a half, two weeks. So. Okay. Awesome. You got anything else to add? That's I can't think of anything else. I think we've covered it all. I think we're good. Okay. Well, I appreciate you for watching. Hope you have a great rest of the day. Thank you.